In this video, we're going to take a look at the Hotbox and Maya's marking menus. The Hotbox is a floating menu that contains every action from Maya's interface. Pressing and holding the space bar displays the Hotbox. The Hotbox is created wherever your mouse is located, so that you can get to each of those menus easily. Across the top of the Hotbox, you can see all of the common menus, and at the bottom, you get the menus from each of the individual menu sets. To use the hotbox, press and hold any of the mouse buttons over a menu. So if I wanted to create a polygon primitive sphere, I'll just left click and go through the menu structure, and we'll choose sphere. And to create it, I'll let go of the left mouse button. And now I can see that my sphere is created. Within the hotbox, there are five marking menus. Each of these are designated by these white lines here. If I left click up in between these two white lines, I'll get my top marking menu, which gives me predefined viewport layouts. So if I wanted to switch between the normal perspective view and go to the perspective graph and outliner, we can do so there. Here I get my outliner, my graph editor, and my perspective view. And I can switch back by going back to the top marking menu and choose Single Perspective. To the right, we can turn on or off individual interface elements. So if I choose Time Slider, that will then disappear, be taken out of my normal interface. To turn it back on, I'll just press Spacebar, left mouse click off to the right, and choose Time Slider again. If we go to the bottom marking menu, this allows us to open certain windows and editors. If I want to open the graph editor specifically, we can choose that there. And now my viewport becomes the graph editor. To go back to my single perspective, I'll go to the top marking menu and choose single perspective. My left marking menu gives me my selection masks. And our last marking menu is located in the center right on the Maya button itself if you left click you can switch between your different cameras. Now I'm in my left view, and now I'm back to my perspective view. You can also customize your hotbox under the hotbox controls. For instance, I could choose to hide all, and that will allow me just to use my marking menus, my middle marking menu, and my most recent commands. And we can turn all of that back on by going back to our hotbox control and choose show all. Or we can choose just to see the polygon menu set. We'll go back and we'll just choose show all. Maya also has numerous separate marking menus for different features and functionalities. If we choose W, which activates our move tool, and if I hold W and then left mouse click, I'll be able to access all of the move tool functionality. This would be the equivalent of double clicking the move tool and modifying the tool options or the tool settings. For instance, we have a feature here called soft select. If I press W and left click, I can access soft select through the marking menu. This works with all of our transformation tools like E for Rotate and R for Scale. We also have context-sensitive marking menus. And let's go to our sphere here. Oh, and I clicked on P-Sphere 1 there at the very top of my menu. And what this means is that if I right-click on the object, I have a marking menu specific to that object. So this marking menu here lets me select the individual components of the polygon object.